Hi guys, welcome to my channel and to my Back to Beauty Know By Year. This year I'm concentrating on using my makeup and not buying any. Today's video is a project pan update. This project is a collaboration with my girl Angela here on YouTube and we're calling it our 2019 Choose Your Own Adventure in Project Pan. <music> Angela and I did start this project in December and this is a rolling style project pan where we can put things in and we can take things out as at will. Also this project is for makeup and nail polish only and we are updating you on the 22nd of every month. So I started with six products. I've had to roll one out already and I have rolled in two products this month. So let's go ahead and get into the progress first. So the first thing that I'm panning in this project is this little Makeup Forever blush sample <laughs> came in a Sephora play box of a friend and I picked this blush because I think it could pair nicely with lots of other blushes in order to just go ahead and use it up and move it out. You'll see in the pictures here that I don't have a ton of visible progress this month but looking at it myself this pan was completely full when I started and there is a little bit you can see side pans starting to show here so um, I'm definitely using this I'm wearing this today I kind of like to use it to pink up just the apples of my cheek after I've put on whatever shade of blush I actually want to wear uh, so I feel good about that progress and hopefully you'll have much more visible progress next month next is my NYX butter gloss in the shade tiramisu and funny story I said in my intro that I thought that this was opaque pat packaging and turns out it is not and how I found that out was this guy right here went on a little adventure in the washing machine when my husband was home but anyhow you can see here that I do have a little window um, I tried to take a picture of it and it just was not you know very visible but I do have a window there I am making progress on this all the time I have this out in my kitchen currently which is one place I tend to reach for some kind of hydrating lip product regularly so hopefully we will have bigger windows or maybe even be to the point where we need to take out the stopper next month we shall see Next is the nail polish that I currently have in this collection and this one I actually do intend to finish and not make progress on. Here are the lines. Obviously the top line is where I started on the intro and the bottom line is where I am today. I would guess that I did probably four manicures with this at least. I think I can do more. Um, however, when I do use this, I only do one coat at a time because I find that that is how this sheer formula performs best. So we shall see. I just want to use this one up because it's not my favorite and just move it out. <laughs> and then we have the ABH or Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in Banana. <laughs> Uh, this is what it looks like. I will have progress up on the screen for you here, but I did start at three quarters of a centimeter and I am now at one half of a centimeter. I don't use this like all over my face or even to highlight my contour um, as I think it is intended, but what I use this for is around um, here for my melasma or I do a little spot concealing sometimes with this. It's kind of a dry formula. You have to really buff it into the skin in order for it to not just sit on top. So we shall see. Maybe I'll be finished with this by next month. I'm not for sure. <laughs> and then the last of the original products is, whoa, have it upside down. <laughs> uh, Make it forever. Eight Ultra HD Micro Finishing Loose Powder. I started at kind of the midpoint right here and down here is where I am today. I have determined this is definitely not my favorite powder. Um, it just fluffs, it has a lot of kick up, like fluffing, flying powder particles and I'm not a big fan of that. 
my favorite Laura Mercier does not do that as well as some others that I've tried so all the more reason to just knock this out of the park I would love to finish this by next month and I think it's possible so again we shall see <laughs> I feel like I've started the year off pretty good with my project pan products I'm using them as much as humanly possible but at the same time still wearing things that I love which I think is all any panner could hope for and then going into the product that I had to roll out it is the Kat Von D color correcting eyeshadow primer in the shade light um, this was for a couple of reasons you guys would have seen on Instagram that I had some kind of eye allergy infection type thing going on but also this is just uh, let's see if I can demonstrate on the back of my hand this has gotten so old that it's become I don't know if you'll be able to see or not it's become really patchy um, in terms of application and therefore it makes my eyeshadow look like complete garbage like absolute garbage it actually emphasizes and even adds texture to my eyelids and therefore when my eyeshadow is on it looks textured and like I have a lot of texture on my eyelids so I'm deciding to play it safe I'm going to declutter this because not declutter it I'm going to toss it because I have um, had an eye infection recently as well as this product um, I've talked about before in my beauty trash when I decide it's time to let something go is when it has a change in smell color or texture in terms of a product going off this is definitely changed in terms of texture and even Angela said toward the end of hers that she experienced the same thing. I did buy this at Marshall's probably, well, sometime in 2018, and it does have a 12 month shelf life, so, and Lord only knows how long it was sitting around before it ended up at Marshall's. So I'm just going to let this go. I also wanted to mention in regards to the Kat Von D product that in addition to it adding texture to the eyelids, it also did not keep my eyeshadow on during the day. I had major creasing in the crease. Life is too short for crappy makeup days and it's just not worth it. I feel like that was a long explanation. I'm not trying to justify it to you guys, only to uh, clue you in on my way of thinking basically. And then the two products that I rolled in, uh, one was the Hourglass Vanish Highlight Stick in the shade uh, Champagne Flash. And, you know, it's just a little tiny sample guy. I'll have a picture up where I measured it for you. But this was in 2018 Project Pan. I didn't quite get it finished and I want to move out little tiny things like this that just get lost in my collection. And I'm not a big fan of stick highlighters altogether, at least not in this point in time. So I just wanna move this one out and maybe start working on a different one. So where we're starting on this Hourglass highlighting stick is three quarters of a centimeter. A centimeter always seems like such a small measurement and yet when you're panning, it seems like a big deal when you finish a quarter of a centimeter or something. Anyhow, and then the last thing that I rolled in for January is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Rose Gold. Looks like so. This is great all over the lid. It's great on the inner corner. I have used this on my waterline. It's a nice product, but again, it's a small thing that I don't use unless I force myself to use. I had this in my shop, my stash for January, and I found out that I do like it and that I can make use of it, and I'd like to just move it out. I have the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Yogurt which is very much the same as this one. I'll show them both to you. Very, very similar. So I'd like to go ahead and just move this little one out of my collection and then I can start working on the NYX one. So my goal on the Hourglass one is to finish it, but my goal on the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick, at least at this point, is to use half of it and then go from there and I am starting at one and a half centimeters for this month. So that is it. That is my progress 
for the 2019 Choose Your Own Adventure and Panning collab with my girl Angela. Make sure you go check out Angela's update, which also went up today. It will be linked in the description box below. And I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days. And I will see you in my next video soon. Mm -hmm.